I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. The 2K community is full of some of the fakest individuals to have ever graced the planet. And I'm gonna explain it to y'all right after the intro. Lido! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me sad. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. When I'm telling y'all that the 2K community is full of some of the worst, fakest, and just like lyingest people, I'm, bro, I'm telling y'all, man, it's stuff like this that really sets me off. Pogo Stick being nerfed. Am I saying that Pogo Stick doesn't need to be nerfed? No, it probably does need to be nerfed, especially on Hall of Fame. But instead of nerfing things, why don't, like, I'm, more, I'm much more interested in countering things or creating balance. Like, it seems like people just want the game to be one way where you can do anything that you want to on offense. Nobody has any recourse on defense. And then you, it's, it's just an offensive heavy game like NBA, what, uh, 2K? I didn't even play it, but 2K15, not the patch four. It was like, like people was like, it's just, it, was, it was just terrible. You could just do anything that you wanted to, and uh, you could just shoot greens. Or just like 18, where you could just be offensively heavy. Like, people say that they hated those games, but people love those games. Just like, uh, like 18, man, people... You, you telling me people didn't love just shooting in people's faces with stretches. But, and I know that they did because once that became the meta, that's all people did. Run back and forth, decks with stretches, and then shoot. But the only time they wanted to complain about it is, is when it happened to them. 2K19, come up court, uh, pro, uh, what, normal three with stretches, shooting somebody's face. Don't even have to have, get, get take over in three shots. Don't even have to do anything. Just, just get take over in three shots. When you got to take over, what? You shooting like this, it's a big bounce back white, but you still leaning like this right here. People love saying that they want a, a skill gap. They love saying that they want balance. And they love saying that they want a good game, but that's just not the case, I don't feel like. I feel like people just want, all they want is the things that benefit them. That's it, nothing else. I want the game to benefit me. I want to be able to shoot big greens right there, but I don't want anybody to be able to contest me or anything. That dude probably got on Intimidator right there. I don't care if he got on Intimidator. People really want Intimidator gone from the game? Do y'all realize how difficult it would be to play defense without Pogo Stick and Intimidator and the other badges that they have in the game? Like people, yeah, people really get mad. Like I understand that people were mad at Pogo Stick. Woo, look at the dot by T. I understand that people were upset about pogo stick because people use pogo stick in lieu of in lieu of paint defense but if they nerf pogo stick what are we going to do for paint defense you can already be right there in somebody's face when they shoot a hook shot right on the hook shot hand and the ball will still go in and it'll be green they can shoot fades in your face the only, sometimes the only recourse that people had down low was to use pogo stick. I would never be so dumb as to say anything like, well, if you don't play inside or you don't play the center, you probably shouldn't talk about it. Maybe people just don't understand, but I don't understand what they want people to do. Like what, like really, what do we want to do? Do we really just want a straight offensive game? Like what, what does Intimidator do that pisses people off so bad? Yes, you miss shots when somebody's closing out on you with Intimidator, but I really don't miss those shots if I'm concentrating and if I take a shot where he's where he's the proper distance away because I know the distance. It's like a one inch distance. I know the distance on the screen. If he's this far away from me, I know he can't recover. It doesn't matter what his intimidator is. If they get a good jump, yeah, they're gonna be able to contest the shot, but that's why I got bail out on. And people want that badge gone too. It's like you used to be able to throw the throw shot uh, throw passes out of shots with no problem at all. Now they make you have a badge to do it and people want to get mad at the badge. Do we just want people just throwing the ball away every single time? Like this is one of my moves in basketball. I dribble into the paint, pull up. My center standing there, somebody come and contest my shot, drop it off to him, or I just pass it to him like that. He gets an easy shot because I draw that much attention. Like, do we just want to take stuff like that out of the game? Maybe we should make, if you want to say that you can't turn, throw the turn around and throw pass, regardless of what you got, yeah, I can understand stuff like that. But we don't want it in the game at all. You don't want people to be able to pass out of a shot at all. Like. I just don't understand it. I'm much more interested in balance than I am in having the game be the way that I want it to be. Just like we said, when I was playing with, with my center, when they said they're gonna take quick draw out of the game, I'm like, look, I got a center. Trades up, green bean money team, splash down. I've got a center. I will benefit from it. But that doesn't mean that I want it gone from the game. It just doesn't make 
sense to me. Why do we want things gone from the game that just that 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 negatively impact us? Why can't we just balance these things out? That's all I want to know. I don't want Intimidator gone. Maybe they, they already nerfed Intimidator. Do you realize what Intimidator was in 2K19? In 2K19, Intimidator was literally it, it, it encompassed the radius of the entire half court. You could if you if you played against a uh, a, a lockdown defender, a pure lock. Nobody on your team could shoot last year. That's how strong Intimidator was. You couldn't dribble the ball. It was negative five to everything. It dropped your badges. It did all of that stuff. This year's version of Intimidator is way less than it was last year in 2K19. Do you think the only reason that you're missing shots is because of Intimidator and Pogo Stick? Or do you think that you're just taking bad shots, low IQ shots, and that's why it's happening. Yes, I do understand. Just like Bruce said in his video today, instead of taking Intimidate out of the game and taking instead of taking Pogo Stick out of the game, what they should do is for Pogo Stick, if you go up, I should be able to jump into you and cause them and create a foul like you keep jumping over and over. Punish these people for spamming these things. Punish these people for spamming reaching in the passing lane, being DJ and all that stuff. Punish people for doing stuff. Make Pogo Stick. Yes, I'm going to say it, Bruce. You told me not to say it because you know they're going to they gonna steal my idea, but they're going to steal it anyway. They've been stealing my idea since I said in 2K16 uh, they should lock off certain moves by um by, by dribble ability and stuff like that. Not just make it slow. Just, you just shouldn't even be able to get it if you got so So, so the, I'm just going to say it. What, what Pogo Stick should really be, Pogo Stick should really give you, if you, it should unlock an ability like this. If you press and hold the button, you can jump to your max height over and over. But if you tap the button, you should be able to do a fake jump or a half jump or something like that in order to, to bait the other team. It should give you the ability to bait your opponent into going up. That's what Pogo Stick should be. Instead of just taking stuff out of the game, why not make it more useful and more skill-based? Yes, I understand that you feel like Intimidator and, and Pogo Stick are, are things that have no skill, got no place in the game, and, and, and it ain't, but like, bro, it's some people that really play defense for real. You would, if they take Intimidator out of this game, bro, how you gonna play defense? People can just literally hide behind screens all day and there will be nothing that you can do about it. The only way that you can make some people miss is because you can't make, you can't recover and can't make up the ground. So if you got Intimidator on, then you can, you don't have to be as close. They can't take the shot. But that's something that I feel like balances the game out. Because if you don't have that, then people are just gonna run you off screens all day long and they're gonna take shots right in your face. And that's gonna be that. Like, I just don't understand it, man. Like, why? Do we feel like we want the game to be exactly how we want it to be? Like, it, it, it makes no sense to me. You can't have it all. You shouldn't have it all. Nobody should be able to have it all. Everything should be balanced. Once they took defense away from us on all bills, they have to do something. Look, I'm giving up something in order to be able to play better defense. Why? Can I get the tools to play better defense? So you want to be able to go in all in on offense and play better offense. But when I go all in on defense, or I go, you know, half and half on defense, I shouldn't be able to play better defense. It just doesn't make sense. They've got all the tools. Like I said, instead of taking things out of the game, instead of nerfing things, let's think of better ways to balance these things so that everybody can enjoy the game it should never just be one way it shouldn't just be straight offense heavy if i want to be a two-way i should be able to play defense if i want to be all in on offense i should be able to go all in on offense but know that i can't play defense the hop step was never broken this year you all just didn't put interior defense on your bills we've shown you this if you got that's why you can't hop step a center but that's why you can shoot in the center's face centers didn't put on didn't put on perimeter defense they get shot in their face and then then if you put on interior they can't hop step you you do like me i put my interior defense up and my uh perimeter defense up on my center you can't just shoot in my face willy-nilly but at the same time you can't hop step me t mizzle on this bill right here this guy right here t mizzle put he maxed out his interior defense on this player. You cannot hop step his player. Instead of asking 2K to make the game easier for us, they already gave us a lot of the tools to play the game better. But I just feel like if you want, if you want Pogo Stick or Intimidator, Intimidator taken out, that is just a cop out. Yeah, you would be able to score a little bit easier, but people are gonna score easier on you. It just doesn't make sense. 
2K needs to concentrate more on balancing the game instead of just taking things out. They could that, that was the perfect bat way to balance uh, Pogo Stick. That was the way to do it. Make it so that you can bait people into going up. Half jump, throw your hand up. Y'all know if you play basketball for real, somebody got you in the post, you do like this, and you 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 even do a little half jump so they can go up, and then when they actually go up, you swat the shot. Like you let them think that they fooled you. Let us do stuff like that. Let me let him think that he fooled me. I do a half jump, and then when he goes up with it, I can swat it out of there. Give us, like they said we got better post events, we got better stuff like that. I just, well, I'm just interested in balance. I'm not interested in, in making the game one-sided and super fun for just one set of people while another set of people just completely suffer and we don't have any recourse. Just like last year, defense was overpowered in 2K19. This year, I really feel like this game was pretty balanced on all fronts. Yes, there are a lot of things that you can take advantage of and exploit, but I felt like there was a good counter to everything and the way that the game went as a whole it was a draw and it's just like real basketball it was it was screens hey screens i hate them but you know what it is what it is it was screens screen and roll it was draw and kick it was iso it was everything you could play this this is one of the first two k's where i really felt like you could play the game any way that you wanted to even even if you wanted to cheese inside with a with a center and throw your throw the ball to your center inside and play through him like shaq you could do that and i feel like that's how a game should be we should we should go more toward that allowing people to play any way that they want to the meta is going to be the meta we are going to create a meta most of the time it's going to be shooting because threes win games good d good three that's 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 our mantra good d good three that's what we do and that's how we win games but a lot of people they just want to do whatever they want to they want to score twos all game never shoot a three but then they want to get stopped without having intimidating and stuff like that it's not going to happen are you mad that people have intimidated because you don't have it or are you just or do you really feel like it should just be taken out of the game? I need to know. Pogo stick and intimidator. I've never even really noticed that they were in the game against me. I never cared because I knew how to play around those things. Somebody pogo stick you, you pump fake, pump fake, step through, go to the other side of the rim, or you reverse pivot and you shoot a fade or something like that if they just pogo sticking. I've never really been impacted by it like that. Intimidator, just take good shots. That's it. And that's on your point guard more than anything. Your point guard needs to figure out how to get you the ball in situations where you're gonna be the most successful. It ain't on the person that's just running out. At least it's not like 2K19 where all you had to do was just run out and just jump at somebody, intimidate or not. All you had to do is just sprint out there at somebody and jump, and then they couldn't take the shot. They could literally be on the elbow and I could be at the timeline taking the shot, and if the person jumped, I couldn't take the shot. Have we forgotten about all this? Like I said, man, a lot of this goes together to make this one of the more balanced 2Ks. I don't want to see stuff go back the way of 2K19. It just shouldn't. But you know, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Maybe I'm out of maybe I'm out of line, out of pocket. Whatever. Let me know, man. But I'm out of here till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Then commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn, cause I ain't buying. I'm only 5'8, that's fine, nigga. I can give a hard transplant to a giant. I ain't lying, God speak. God speak, God speak. We good.